Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video, we're going to learn how to create a proxy scraper with curl and regular expressions. If you're a Clever Techie Patreon subscriber, you can just open up Visual Studio Code, go to File, Open Workspace, and double click on clevertechie.code workspace to open up the workspace. And you can just download the workspace from Patreon. Then we're going to expand Clever Techie Workspace, expand the PHP folder, and go to Projects folder. And inside the projects folder, let's go, let's go ahead and create a new folder and call it proxy. And inside the proxy folder, let's create a file and call it proxy scraper.php. Open up the PHP tags. And now we're ready to start coding our scraper. So the source URL where we're gonna be scraping proxies is this site here. So you can go ahead and copy this URL and uh, the proxies are going to be on this page but you will also see the HTTP proxy lists here on the right hand side in the navigation menu so we can just go ahead and click on these and it will give us more lists so so it's got a total of 10 lists of proxies and we're gonna be scraping each and every page and if we click on the first page you can see that there's no number here but if we add one, it's going to give us the same page as the one without the number one. So this is just the first page and this will just make it easier for us to loop through all the pages. So, uh, so we're just going to be starting with this page and we're going to loop through page 10. So it's going to be one through 10 and we're going to be matching all these proxies and saving them in our array. Okay, so now we're ready to get started with this. I'm gonna go ahead and paste the proxy source URL here. And since we're gonna be scraping the URLs with a number in them, let's go ahead and just add the counter here right away. So the I is going to be replaced with the actual count of the page. Now let's go ahead and initialize curl. curl equals curl initialize. This is how we initialize the curl resource. Next we're gonna set some curl settings and we set the curl settings with curl set opt uh, followed by the curl resource which we initialized here and then the constant which is the option that we're setting for the curl. Curl opt SSL verify peer we're gonna set the verify peer option to false and the reason we're doing it here is because this site has a HTTPS protocol and if this option is not set to false uh, the curl is just going to return blank it's going to return a blank page so that is the reason why we're doing it here also we're going to set curl we're gonna set another option here and we're gonna set the curl opt return transfer to true so that the transfer is returned as text and we can print it out and this particular site also requires that we set the user agent so we're gonna do that as well so we're gonna do the same thing here with curl set opt curl resource and then curl opt user agent and uh, let's set the user agent to Mozilla 5.0 so that's just the latest version of Firefox here. Okay, so with our curl initialized and all the options set, we're now ready to go ahead and start looping through the pages and parsing the proxies. But before we do that, let's actually test to see if we can load this URL in the curl and to make sure that everything is working and everything is loading properly. So for that, we're gonna set curl set opt the curl I'm going to set the constant curl opt URL to the actual URL that we're going to be using here. And this is a string. And for now, we're just going to replace the I variable with one to parse the first page. Next, we're going to use echo and then use the curl exec to execute our curl resource. And if everything works at this point, it should print out the contents of this page. So let's go ahead and view this page in a browser. And as you can see, our script 
proxy scraper.php is loading this page. So now we're ready to scrape these proxies. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this for now, or rather comment out this part. So now let's go ahead and create the proxies array where we're gonna be saving the proxies. And this is just gonna be an empty array for now. Let's also create the start count and end count, which is going to be the count of the page. And since we're looping through page one through 10, we're gonna set the start count to one and end count to 10. So this is just for looping through the pages. Now we're gonna create the loop to loop through all the pages. And this is just gonna be a simple for loop. Gonna set the I counter equal to our start count variable, which is one. And we're gonna say I less than or equal to end count, which is going to be 10 and I plus plus to loop through all the pages. So that's just gonna loop through one through 10. And when we replace um, the value here, it's gonna loop through all those pages. Okay, so first here, let's create the curl URL. And this is gonna be the same thing as we have here. So I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here to create the URL. But instead of one value here, we're just gonna replace it with I which is our i variable that's gonna be looping from one to 10. So by doing that, we're loading different URLs and we're looping through all of them so that we can get all the proxies on each and every page. Next, we're going to execute our curl URL so that we can get the contents just like we did before. So execute curl URL and let's store everything inside the result variable just like before with curl exec and then the curl resource. So once again, we can go ahead and test this out here by printing out the result. And then instead of looping through the whole thing, we're just gonna say, we're gonna use the function die so that we can just print out one page. Open this in the browser and we have an error occurred. So something went wrong. Let's go ahead and see what this is. Oh, okay, so this is because we use the single quotes and it's interpreting the dollar sign I as literal. So we definitely wanna use double quotes here. And that will actually replace the dollar sign I with our counter. So let's go ahead and try this again. And so this time it works. So, so this is why it's a good idea to debug the code like that before uh, writing the whole thing. Okay, so now that we know everything is working and we got our our resource, we can start scraping the proxies. So this next part is where we're gonna be using regular expressions to match the proxies. And let's just go ahead and go back to the page and copy this part here. So this is the match that we're looking for. So this is what the proxy looks like. And now we're gonna create a regular expression which is going to match four numbers separated by a dot, followed by a column, and then a number which is a proxy port, which can be between two to four characters. And each number in a proxy is between one to three characters. So now we're gonna create a regular expression to match that. And for that, we're gonna use a function called pragmatchAll. And here we're going to create the actual regular expression match. And uh, this is another benefit for the Clever Techie Patreon subscribers is that you get this workspace. And here we're just gonna open up regular expressions and we're gonna look at the regular expression cheat sheet. So here, since we're gonna be matching the number between X and Y, this is the quantifier that we're gonna be using. So in order to match our proxy, character, we're gonna use backslash D followed by the curly brackets and one and three because we're gonna be matching a one to three digit number. Okay, let's go back to our code and here we're gonna say backslash D, the curly brackets, one through three. So that is gonna match this first number here. Then we're gonna put dot because it's separated by a dot and then the same thing, 
D, curly bracket one through three, and that's gonna match the second number, separate that by a dot, backslash D, one through three, and the last number, backslash D, curly bracket one comma three. So now we're matching a set of four numbers, which is going to be between one and three characters, and that is the proper format of the proxy, and each number is separated by a dot. Next, we got a colon, and here we're also going to be matching the digit number, so backslash D, curly bracket, but this time it's going to be 2 through 4, because a port cannot be a single digit number. It can only be 2 digits, 3 digits, or 4 digits. So that is the reason we're matching a digit between 2 and 4. Okay, now we're going to provide the target source that we're matching from, which is our result variable. And the result is our executed curl, which is the contents of our page here. And then we're going to store everything inside of the matches array. So if everything works well, we should get our proxies in an array now. So let's go ahead and test this out by printing out the matches. And don't forget the die so that we don't end up looping through the whole thing just yet. Open this in the browser, view page source, and as you can see, we are perfectly matching all the proxies on the page. So now all we have to do is let the loop run and save all the proxies inside of our proxies array. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do here, save proxies in array. And to make it easier, we're just going to save all the proxies inside of the one array. So this is the array that we created here. And here we're going to use the array merge function to merge all the proxies inside of the same array. So here we're going to put our empty proxies array. And then the second array is going to be matches. And we're also going to set the key to zero because we don't want the unnecessary keys inside of our array. Now this loop should uh, go through all the 10 pages and save all the proxies inside of our proxies array. So after our loop is finished, let's go ahead and first close the curl resource with curl close curl. And then we're going to print out the array with print r proxies. Now let's view the whole thing in a browser. And now, as you can see, we have a huge list of 699 proxies. So that tells us that we have looped through all the 10 pages that we have here. And we have successfully matched and saved all the proxies inside of our proxies array. So now you have this clean array of all the proxies and you can either save them in a database or just start using them for whatever purposes you'd like to use them for. And that is how you create a proxy scraper in PHP. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to sign up for Patreon if you'd like access to all the source code, the cheat sheets, and the whole workspace that you see in this video. And I really appreciate your support, even if it's $1 per month. It keeps me motivated to continue to creating videos like this. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.